Oh, hello there. I am Uncle Bubba, and this is my digital mailbox where you send me physical mail, and I send you a digital response. We are up to episode number 10 of the show, somewhat of a milestone for us all. As some of you may know, many YouTube shows only make it to several thousand shows, so we are significantly behind in that regard, but that is all right, as since day one we have been a show that favors quality over quantity, the quality of the amazing art from our amazing contributing artists. Contributing artists, such as this week's episode, Josh. Now, as I'm sure many of you remember, Josh got us all rolling, as he was the very first artist on episode number one, and he joins us back for his next solo appearance on episode number 10. He also contributed as part of a group for episodes two and nine, so he has wonderfully bookmarked the first 10 episodes of the show, which is only appropriate as Josh is truly a master of composition, not just in his artwork, but in the order in which he presents his artwork to us all. Now, going back to episode number one, Josh began an artistic movement that has resonated with many of us all, an artistic movement which, in my humble and esteemed opinion, has best encapsulated the COVID-19 experience. For I believe that when many scholars look back at the artwork that was created during this ep epidemic, this pandemic, they will look back at the artwork by the Adam Check Five, the artwork that I am very privileged to present to us all. So let's not wait any longer, shall we? Let's open this up and have a look. The artwork obviously is a very bent this week. The Postmaster General just shoved it in Uncle Bubba's mailbox, so hopefully the artwork is not too damaged. Oh, it is, it is, it is stuck in there. My goodness, my goodness. Okay. All right. Come binder. Red, green, and blue become flame tower? What? Let's have a look at this. Look at all these characters. They appear to be, they remind me a lot of the, the characters we saw in our very first episode um, from the very first page of Josh's art that I believe the character came back several pages later. Now these characters appear to have wings with um, little letters on them. I believe the letters are representing the colors of them, such as our, our green character with his lovely green spectacles there, has a G. So, if we couldn't already tell the character was green, he's, he's showing it on his chest. So perhaps Josh's colorblind father can enjoy the artwork as well. What a, what a lovely man this Josh is. He's, he's giving to everyone. Such a lovely guy. Although the character in red has an A. So, I'm a little confused. Josh is throwing me for quite the loop here with this artwork. A little mind-bending action here. I see a, a broken heart in that. Can we all see that? The, the little line there. It's, it's broken. I'm feeling Josh's his heartbreak. Whether it's because he can't do all the things that he wants to do due to the pandemic, such as go on walks with Uncle Bubba, although I know Josh has so many other exciting things to do that don't involve his uncle. Um, but still, I feel the pain, Josh. I truly feel the pain. Flamethrower. Wow. Wow. Impressive. Immense talent. On the back, Chip and Potato 2? What? Whoa, you are throwing me for a loop here, Josh. Whoa, Chip and Potato 2. 
When I thought Claire's question couldn't be any more profound, now it, it is getting, it is getting very intense here. Next. Combining ears, green and black formation, become eyesight with an exclamation point. Woo -hoo -hoo. These appear to be some kind of, I'm guessing, comic book superhero-like creations that Thack is presenting with us. Again, they have the, the kind of wing-like shape. Um, a lot of Josh's characters, I noticed, are very, very similar in the way they all look. They all seem kind of, you know, like, I know he likes those, um, whatever those Transformer rip-off things are, Rescue Bots, those things. They kind of have that superhero kind of thing where you expect them to grow wings and stuff like that. Um, again, another tall character in the middle with very pronounced kneecaps there. Um, very good there. His kneecaps match his, his arms. Great use of uh, two colors there. We're just using two. We're using the black and the green. They go so well together, Josh. Um, they're working really good together. I think they accent each other very well. And as you say, I couldn't say it any better, they become eyesight. Wow. Another one. Combiner. Purple and black formation become muscular. Whoa. This is getting, this is getting a little intense here, Josh. Um, whoa. We have, we have quite the characters here. Now this, I'm going to, this really caught, caught my eyesight, Josh, is that we have this character here, which we see crossed off. Now, what I'm guessing happened here is Josh was beginning a composition there and it just wasn't working out for him, so he merely crossed it off. Now, a lot of artists, if they started drawing something or started painting something and they were not satisfied with the quality of it, they would maybe erase it, maybe they would get a new, get a new paper, they would draw it again, for example, but Josh just crosses it off. This is not an artist that has any vanity. He's showing us. Even Josh makes mistakes. He's not perfect, which is hard to believe sometimes, looking at all the, the characters and the, the questions he comes up with. But Josh, he's just like you and me. He's not perfect. He makes mistakes. He, he's always trying to improve himself, which is truly an inspirational tale that I, that I always love that I, I, I'm glad I'm able to share it with you, that Josh is just like you and me. He makes mistakes, but he's not afraid to admit his mistakes. He's telling all of us, we can all be better. We can all do better. And again, in my humble and esteemed opinion, Josh, you did much, much better. And I must say, this muscular drawing is very powerful, no pun intended. And this says Chayo, and there's something like that. And there's a, a wonderful red box-like thing, has a little, a little dots in it. Just, he was just being playful. I'm seeing the joy of childhood in this drawing, Josh. Even though you're so intelligent, so powerful and muscular, you're still playing, you're still young, you're still growing into a leader, a man, but yet you still are playing. You still have that joyful optimism that uh, we all had at children, and some of us may have lost it. And looking at this, I, I long and I yearn for the days when I had such childlike imagination and such wonderful outlook on the world and such optimistic views of everything that goes into life. As to the surprise of absolutely no one, Josh has once again blown us all away with some immensely personal, immensely challenging and wonderfully optimistic artwork. It has been an absolute pleasure this week 
looking at all the artwork Josh presented us with as once again, he is leading us all in a revolution that may never end. But unlike the revolution, this week's show has to end. And so I am again wishing all of you uh, a safety, a happiness, hope. I hope you are all well when this video finds you all, wherever you may be, in whatever stage of life you may be in. I wish you nothing but happiness. And signing off for episode number 10 of a very, very proud episode of for, from a very proud uncle. This is Uncle Bubba, and I may be an essential worker, but your artwork is essential to Uncle Bubba. Have yourselves a good week.